going on, everybody? It's your boy, Lodge Pat 1412. Excited to be back with some Madden 22 gameplay here. We got an online ranked match versus a random opponent. But we're not really going to talk about the gameplay too much. I guess it depends. I'm, I'm sure we'll have some time. But, man, I tell you what, man, it was really challenging trying to edit this game for some strange reason. But normally, what I do is, I know this might not make sense to some of y'all, but normally, what I do is, instead of, like, when I, when I click on the button, to capture the video I you I normally exit out of it first and then the second that I, I re uh, click the the, uh, the app to put it back on it usually works better but this time I didn't do that I did <laughs> I used it on the first try and I think that was part of the problem and why the editing process was um um challenging but with no further ado we are here my opponent has the Saints we have the Super Bowl champions the Los Angeles Rams wow I never thought I would say uh, Los Angeles Rams in my life. I always thought they would be St. Louis Rams. But anyway, let's talk about the Super Bowl. Well, believe it or not, I, I missed the first quarter and a half because I had to get Valentine's Day cards for my kids. So, <laughs> and believe it or not, Walmart or Target didn't have it. I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. So my wife had to put some stuff together. It's because we went out there to get those cards. And... It, they didn't even have them. Like, I'm like, you gotta be kidding me, man. Like, this is the first year of my life I ever went to go get Valentine's Day cards for kids, and there was none available. Unbelievable, man. I can't make that up. But at any rate, middle of the second quarter, and I'm, I'm watching the game. I believe at this time the score is 10 to 13. I believe the uh, the Rams are up. Yeah, 10 to 13. Rams are up. But you know, and overall, it was it was a pretty good game. They were a pretty good game. Um, let's see if we can talk about some things that stood out in the game, some highlights. Uh, the boy T. Higgins definitely, um, that, that was definitely a pass interference, an offensive pass interference on, on, uh, <laughs> Jalen, Jalen Ramsey. I'm not sure why they didn't call that. Um, I, I like how the referees were calling the game. I, you know, it's so rare that I, that I say that, and, um, it, it's so rare that the referees calling the game stands out. Um, because it's always you know pivotal to some point because they they are they, they they're kind of like in control of uh, I wouldn't say the momentum of the game but you know how the game um, is being played uh, so to speak for lack of a better term but yeah um, I thought the, I thought the referees called the game fairly well except for that play right there that was just an obvious offensive interference by T Higgins but that's that the Bengals did a good job of stopping the stopping the run. At the end, okay, at the end, when the referees started calling the flags, um, that flag they called on Luke Wilson, I, I really don't think they should have called that. I was like, man, I said, it's, it's a little weird that all of a sudden, look at good Billy Ray. <laughs> all of a sudden now, um, you guys are going to start calling, start calling calls, you know, like, I mean, it just, and not that it was weird, okay, I, I'm going to tell you why I agree with what they did, except for that Luke Wilson call. That Luke Wilson call, that was a bad call. Because he really wasn't, he really didn't have his hands on him like that. He really didn't. That was a bad call. Now, let's see. Okay, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> okay. The other calls, though, they were good calls. Now, but the point, the whole point of that I'm trying to make here is that when they started calling calls at the end, I thought it was fair because when the game is on the line like that, I feel like you have to call those calls. You know, like I said, except for that Luke Wilson one, I think that was I thought that was a bad one. But when the game was on the line, you know, it's a game winning drive with bottom of the fourth quarter, I think you have to call those calls. And throughout the game, I always say call the blatant calls. Like all the like that that T Higgins, that was a blatant offensive pass to the fan. They gotta call that. But besides that, I gotta give it to the referees. They played a heck of a game. Stafford did well. Um, I think the momentum of the game changed once uh for the Bengals when Joe Burrow got hurt. I mean, I, I, when Joe Burrow got hurt, I think that changed the momentum of the game for the Bengals. Because I don't think he threw a deep pass after that. Not that he really had time, but <laughs> I don't think he threw a deep pass after that. You, you can kind of tell he was grimacing a little bit. I, I think that, I think when he rolled his, his ankle or his foot, whatever it was, or his leg, I, I think that was practically the tail of the tape. Cooper Cup, though, man. Whoo! He had a heck of a game. We had eight catches for 100 something yards, two TDs. That was crazy. OBJ. Oh my goodness, man. <laughs> Odell Beckham. I'm sorry, not OBJ, but ODB. <laughs> o 
ODB, man. Well, I guess it is OBJ. You know, he is a, he is a junior. But Odell, man, man, what a game. You know, he wasn't in the game that long. What a game, though, man. Um, that touchdown, no matter what you say, you can't take that touchdown away from him. I, I don't care what anybody says. You can't touch, take that touchdown away from him. You can't say he wasn't part, you know, of the, uh, you know, of the team. You can't say he didn't make his mark. And I, I'm, I'm happy for him, man. I'm happy for him. I'm, 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 I'm proud of him to a degree. I, well, you know, you know, I ain't his dad or nothing, but I'm, I'm happy that he. It seems like he's maturing, and you know, to see the tears of joy coming through his eyes to me, it's, it's what sports is all about. It's your boy looking good, Billy Ray. <laughs> I think that's what sports is all about. You know, just uh, making you feel something, man. There's nothing like anything in life that can make you feel something. Like when you with a girl that is special, you know, you, you, you feel something. Or even the first time you take a girl out and you really, really like her, you know, the butterflies that you get. You know, when you watch a movie that's like sad, something like Saving Private Ryan, you know, when you left that movie theater, you felt something, you know. So, you know, that's you know, that's what um that's one of the great things about life, you know, is how certain moments can make you feel, you know. So to see those tears, it was um to see those tears of joy from him and Aaron Donald, that was um that was nice. Shout out to KG, KG, uh, <laughs> my boy Chris Garland, he um practically you know got the uh score right in the opposite way, but he practically got the score right. <laughs> it, it's interesting because his his last name is Garland, and um one of my uncles um his name is Garland, you know. So <laughs> so shout out to KG one more time. But yeah, I had the Rams. I had the Rams winning the game. They ended up winning it. So that was nice. And um, let's talk about the MVP. Um, Cooper Cup got MVP. I think Cooper Cup should have got. Look at that play right there, y'all. You see how my boy Stafford overthrew that 21 21. Last drive of the game. And he overthrows that. I'm like, you have got to be kidding me. Well, yeah, I think Cooper Cup should have um, should have got the MVP. You know, AD did his thing, though, man. AD, he did do his thing. I was listening to Skip Bayless and Shannon Sharp kind of debated back and forth. And I think uh, Skip uh, made a great point as far as um, the, the difficulty. You know, the difficulty. I do think, you know, Cooper Cup's uh, game, his attempt to have a good game was more difficult than than AD. So, I think with that said, I, I'm going to go with Cooper Cup. Plus, man, this year that he's had, man, I mean, good. I know, I, I know the year is, is not equivalent to... What you do in the Super Bowl, but man, that last drive, come on, man! I'm really happy for happy for AD though. I'm really happy for Aaron Aaron Donald, man. I, I think he deserved one. Stafford, man, and this is why I really love that Stafford. I might even do a video on this. I don't know. We'll see. I really love that Stafford one because here's an example of a guy that was not on a great team. Then eventually he got on a good team and you can see the difference and it goes to show you man Like when you have good players in different situations, you never you, you'll see what they can do. You never know But we're going to we, we might talk about that in another video, man <laughs> It's your boy launchpad 14 tell I hope y'all enjoyed this man Tell me you guys thoughts on the game that you guys just saw me here playing on the Super Bowl Let me know um, how you guys feel. This is your boy launchpad 1412 and I'm out